my bangs here I already primed my face with the Fenty hydrating primer and now I'm going to mix the Armani Luminous Skin Foundation in number 6 with the Body Lava by Fenty I love this combo Just mix them both and apply to your face On this look I really want a glowy vibe so I will be applying a lot of glowy products Little hair clips kind of help this <laughs> So next I will be applying my concealer which is the Born to Glow by NYX and this is the color Vanilla We are going to leave some concealer here and I'm also going to put some concealer on the spots I'm just going to blend this Okay, so now we are going to set the face and leave the eyelids without setting because we really want the creamy concealer to work as a, as a base for the rest of the eyeshadow so for the rest of the face I'm gonna set with the Maybelline Lasting Fix powder I gotta be honest, this is the first time that I will be trying this powder but I'm already mad at it because it's so empty I never used it before and it's so empty but I already bought it so I'm gonna be using it either way just going to set all this I'm just going to do a story while I'm here This is what I call multitasking Hey guys, so I'm in the middle of recording a YouTube video And I'm going to move on to highlighter now And I'm going to be applying highlighter to almost all my face I'm gonna show you guys So with a little more loose kind of brush I'm just going to hit this highlighter by Saint Marcel And I'll be just gently rubbing it under the eyes and here on the cheekbones just very lightly and with a bigger brush I'm just going to do it all over the face yeah, an entire face of highlighter now I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit in light to medium and this is a very used palette so excuse this mess I'm using this shade over here just apply it to your chin not your chin, like your jawline and here then on the forehead I'm, I'm going to cover it with bangs so I don't even know why I do this it's just... and with a smaller brush I'm doing the nose contour here just apply under the tip and then here a little line so you can lift your nose and then instead of putting on the side just put a little bit on the top here and here and I like to go a little bit on top too because I have this bone a little bit lifted and I want to bring it down now back to the highlighter just to put a little bit on this tip that we just lifted and I like to put it here too now let's go to one of my favorite parts which is blush and I'm gonna be using the Stilazi Bahamas palette and I'm going to be using the Flamingo shade just put directly under the eye this is the way that I think it's going to look better for the soft girl makeup we are doing today and drag it to your cheekbones don't be afraid to go on the eyelid no worries cute do the same to the other side and now I'll be applying to here the nose but just above the tip that we highlighted so we're just going to apply it here to the middle I'm happy with this Just drag the product all over the rest of the face And blush is done Now for eyebrows, I will be using the Stilazi Smoky Quartz In any part of this video where you see my nails Please, I'm sorry, don't mind them Because I'm in quarantine and I don't have nail gel I'm just going to do a line here As square as I can Because I like my brows square lately and do a line on the top as well and then just fill them in it's very easy I like to brush them at the end to help blend all this color so now I want to use this Fenty Beauty palette and this is called the 4, four Rose 4 Rose and I'm gonna be using this really light pink here to kind of set our eyelid and work as like a base color And then we'll be using the color Transcend from the Colourpop of Flutter palette And this color is like a really really light nude that is going to set the rest of the 
the eyelid, basically all these parts here that I don't want to add any color. Then from the same Fenty Beauty palette, I'm gonna be using this right here, which is still a pink but a more like brownish one. And I'm going to apply that here under the eye. And you want to leave it just in the outer corner, don't drag it too much on the inside because we are going to add some glow later. And with this really bright pink here, we are going to cover the outer corners of the top of the eyelid. And then really work on blending this with the rest of the color you already applied. Now back with the color pop palette, the flutter one, we are going to use the Hungry Ghost shade, which is basically just a really bright glitter. So I'm applying it to the inner corners here and dragging a little bit on the bottom too. Now instead of using the regular eyeliner, I'm gonna be using this dark purple here from the ColourPop of Flutter. And how I've been doing my eyeliner lately is just to do this little triangle here and make it disappear on the eye. And then it only pops up back again here in the inner corners. Only like this. And now you do the other eye. Okay, I'm happy with it. Now I'm going to add mascara. This is the Extreme by Essence. It's one of my favorites. So this mascara is so cheap and so good. So if you never tried this, I highly recommend. I'm going to apply the NYX Retractable Lip Liner in the shade number one. Also, I've been doing this trick, which is just to lift my smile a little bit. I draw a little line here. Now that the lips are lined, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Palette. You guys already know, this is my favorite thing. And I'm going to be using this right here, which is a very light pink. Wait, my lips are too dry. Okay, we have this light pink and now I want to go with this burgundy in the center. And then just blend with your finger. Now before we finish this, I decided that I want to add fake freckles. So I'm gonna use the same product that I used for the eyebrows, same brush, exactly the same thing. And I'm just going to tap in a bunch of different places. I don't like to add too much, just a few but I think it looks so cute. I had no idea the look that I was going to create. I always start with a concept, but I'm not good at planning. So I just go with the flow and I, I'm happy that this turned out good. <laughs> so yeah, I guess this is the look. I'm gonna take off this clips now, kind of leave my bangs a little messy and just record some beauty shots for y'all before I say goodbye. So this is the video guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look, I haven't done a makeup look in a while and I know you guys like this so let me know in the comments if you wanna see more makeup tutorials and which type would you like to see next. Also don't forget to subscribe to this channel, follow me on TikTok, follow me on Instagram, I just love unicorns for every single platform and I guess I'll see you guys next Friday. Love y'all!